Okay, Rick's Barber here. Um, been a lot of discussion on the 4x6 bandsaw Yahoo group about uh, hydraulic cylinders being used to lower the uh, saw blade. And I don't think you'll find many people who say that it is not a good thing. Uh, if you do thin wall cutting, then having the hydraulic cylinder able to slow the cut uh, is great. You just set it, walk away, uh, and that's, you know, I'm not looking to reinvent the hydraulic cylinder. I think it perfected a long time ago. But I don't do a lot of thin wall, and typically what I'm doing is hand lowering the uh, blade. So just to show you the whole picture, here I've got some thin wall tubing. I'm just going to cut it, but I'm not going to hold it, and you'll see how bad this is. It starts out slow, and now the blade is actually jammed. But if, I, if I lower it by hand, then it's fine. So that demonstrates that you really, if I'm going to cut this tubing, I need to either be there or I need to uh, have some way to moderate it. Um, so what I have here is a proof of concept. It's just a piece of round stock. Happens to have a little ball on the end. That's not terribly necessary. Uh, but it fits into this piece of steel down here that I've clamped in. And what you see is I happen to have some of this, this round stock with a cross drilled hole. And this is nothing but an O-ring. And I have all different sizes. You'll see a little later why that's important. So uh, not much to it. And clearly this doesn't move because there's friction between the, the O-ring and the cylinder. The cylinder's clean and dry. I can't afford to have oil on there. Uh, one thing about friction is it's very sensitive to vibration. The more vibration, the more the, the friction is reduced. So I use that to my advantage. I take this rod and I have this little bracket here. Again, proof of concept, not pretty. Then, uh, here, let me move it out more so you can see. With the saw turned off, this will go down fairly slow. But let's turn it on and see how it works. The vibration is decreasing the friction. And it didn't bind up. And I can slow down that progression. I can slow this down, the sliding progression, by putting in a larger uh, O-ring. Sorry, now you can see it. I can go to a bigger O-ring, or I can go to a smaller O-ring, and I can moderate the speed. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't use this for mass production, but if you have light cut once in a while, then maybe this is useful. Uh, at the moment, I don't know how to make it simpler, but uh, at least it tells you where I'm going with this. We'll see whether it's, if it's useful, and I'd probably make something more permanent. If it's not, then I'll just go back to holding the, the blade frame and lowering it by hand. But uh, at least you can see where I'm headed. So that's all for now. Bye.